Are you ready telephone man? It's time to talk about the principal agent problems that took place before, during, and after the financial crisis of 2008. Bad house boy, we will be here for days, if we try to explain all of the examples of principal agent problems, that have occurred in the US in the past five years. Why don't we focus on the company you mentioned earlier, Merrill Lynch. You were just ringing with good ideas. Yes, let's talk about that Merrill Lynch, which is now incorporated into the Bank of America. But first, let's make sure we have this right. The principal agent problem is a subcategory of the moral hazard problem. Specifically, it is when agents or employees do not act in the best interest of the principal or the big picture of the firm. And again, a big part of why there is a principal agent problem in the first place is because of incentives. Sometimes, employees of a firm, it can be anyone, but often people who are in management positions care more about filling their pockets than making decisions in the best interest of the firm. Okay, so does that mean firms like Merrill Lynch had principal agent problems before the crisis as well as during and after? Very possible, but that is much too big of an issue to wipe up with one roll of toilet paper. That was not funny. Okay, then I think we need to focus specifically on the principal agent problem that arose or was at least identified while Merrill Lynch was being taken over by Bank of America. I want to talk about a certain purchase that Thane Dude made for his office. And you can first let's bring everyone up to speed with an abbreviated version of the events that led to the Bank of America taking over Merrill Lynch. The whole crisis with Merrill Lynch became more evident in October of 2007 when the company announced losses of $3.24 billion. That same month, after announcing Merrill Lynch would have to write down $7.90 billion in subprime loan debt, CEO Stan O'Neill resigned. He took a $160 million stipend with him. The situation for the company just got worse and by July of 2008, write-downs of billions of dollars were taking place. Merrill Lynch knew it was in for trouble, especially when Lehman Brothers filed for bankruptcy in September of 2008. However, they started up talks with the Bank of America in regarding a takeover by the Bank of America. The takeover took place in January of 2009. Right before the takeover, $3.7 billion in employee bonuses were paid to Merrill Lynch employees, about two months earlier than when the employees usually received their bonuses. And this is where the principal agent problem is evident. Merrill Lynch had recorded losses of around $40 billion for 2008. That's a lot of loss for a company. The company was aided by the TARP fund, which helped a little. It was lost that Bank of America was going to have to, and did cover, because of the takeover. Because Merrill Lynch's losses were more than had been fathomed, Bank of America had to ask for an additional bailout of billions of dollars from the government. They were already promised $25 billion. The incentives for the Merrill Lynch to get their employee bonuses before the takeover was so they could get the bonuses they thought they deserved. If they had waited until the takeover, their bonuses would have been significantly smaller. And it's a principal agent problem, because getting the bonuses really wasn't in the best interest for the company as a whole. There was a lot of discussion about those bonuses. The U.S. Security and Exchange Commission got involved, but more from the point of view that the Bank of America had agreed to the bonuses and not told their shareholders. The main point is that the employees got their bonuses right before Merrill Lynch was taken over. And they got to keep the bonuses. There is another example of principal agent at work that involved Merrill Lynch. The CEO that took over when Stan O'Neill resigned was John Thane. So the firm was not doing great when Thane takes over in October of 2008. Just because the firm was making write-downs in the billions did not stop John Thane from spending $1.2 million of the firm's money to redecorate his office. Just let me list what he spent and bought, according to the New York Times, the decorator cost $800,000 pair of guest chairs $37,784, area rugs totaling $131,000, and a commode on legs for $35,110.
For your enjoyment, a picture of this antique commode is shown on the PowerPoint presentation that sums up this project. See, that's a great example of principal agent, because although he was high up in the company, the redecorating was not something that benefited Merrill Lynch. For the record, he did have to pay it back. Yes, but it did not help the company which was reporting consistent losses totaling in the billions every quarter. How could have these principal agent problems been resolved before they became so obvious? The answer is to monitor what is going on within a firm. Pay attention. The TAN fixed the incentives for the employees, so that they are lined up with the goals of the firm. If we have learned anything from these discussions on examples of asymmetric information it should be what a powerful motivator incentives can be. In closing, the principal agent problem examples with Merrill Lynch are just a few of the many that took place during the financial crisis and that still take place today. This type of problem takes place when an employee or a group of employees is not doing what is best for the firm as a whole. You've probably been wondering why such unconventional guys in weird superhero suits have been spreading this message to you. That's because we are super zeros. Asymmetric information is not something you can throw a bus at and get rid of. Not that I could lift a bus. It takes work. And part of that work is to reduce some of the zeros that are behind the US name when it comes to debt. So, that's why we have been here talking about the examples of asymmetric information that were present before and during the financial crisis of 2008. Now, are there any questions before we run away?